We have a Bigger Wins YouTube Unboxing Mystery Box version 6. Very excited to open this up. And today I'm going to be opening with my Jumbo Mandalorian Lego. Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this thing. I think we're gonna have to use this, maybe his toe. One side. Let's see. All right. Box open. Good job. So, very nice paper. Not all that crinkly. Hope they will find a use for that somewhere. And I see my paper. All right, so. And for those that don't know, with the YouTube or with the ASGI mystery boxes, you can, in your comments, put down what you would like, your wish list. So I gave plenty of options. So here's the options I gave, and you all can guess which one, if any, it ended up being. So. Here was the wish list. A KWA K K QRF Mod 1, the Arturus AK-12, Classic Army Nemesis X-98, Classic Army Skirmish ECS MK-16 M4, which I think, nope, it's not. I also put on here the ASGI Custom Typhoon MCMR M4, because why not? It's a wish list. Uh, KWA Ronin T-10, AEG-3 Recoil, and most of these, with the exception of the Arcturus AK-12, were on uh, Boaz's best, not best out of the box, it was like guns that didn't need upgrades. So pretty much best out of the box. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the description. It said mainly looking for something good out of the box with a MOSFET that doesn't weigh as much as my M14. So in the event none of these meet the budget, you can go based on that. If any of them happen to be non-M4s that take M4 mags, that's good too. Uh, so we will see if I got anything on my wish list um, or not. So the real, the real mystery about the ASGI mystery boxes is actually what budget you get because you can put in a wish list of what you want, but it all kind of depends on what your what budget your box gets. So that's really the biggest mystery. So without further ado, let's see if I can open this up enough to see what's inside. Am I gonna be happy? I think I'm gonna be happy. Yeah, you're gonna be happy. Okay. All right. So it is a classic army box and an extra mag. And nice, it is a M4 mid cap mag, which is always good. That's who wants that uh, high cap nonsense. <laughs> Flip that around. And There is something in the way. Okay. But that's what we're dealing with. All right, so let's see. Nice. So, <clears throat> let's take this out. Comes with a mag, a high cap mag, to be expected. Bag of BBs, also expected. Some extra rails. And the cleaning slash unjamming rod. So this is the Classic Army Mod M4. 
it is polymer polymer receiver polymer rails flip up sights middle stock to polymer stock non ambi controls See if it does not do the thing. Rotary style hop up. Plastic stippled pistol grip. Which feels kind of comfy. So, on the one hand, it definitely did fit my criteria. This is so much lighter than my M14. Um, we do have rear sling mount on both the left and right side and uh yeah this is a emotional moment it's my first m4 uh so let me just check out my box here uh, that's what i was looking for so let's take a look at the bags of goodies. So we have a very large handling instructions, programming the electronic tr trigger unit. Will definitely come in handy. A, I'm gonna say this is quick start user manual. Not much to it, basically two pages does have some color stuff in here so that's good how to use the safety lock yeah always a good thing um all right so about what you would expect in a manual let's take a look at the rear here it is rear wired as you would expect and it is small to me yeah. which I know some people say, come on, it's got to be deemed by now, but I actually still have a lot of small to me batteries, so this will, will actually work for now until I can get some, uh, throw a light bow in there anyway. Make sure I got this right. It is not overly easy to get it. Just in just right. All right, so there you have it. We got some branding over here. Warning. So I'm going to look up the value of this and be right back. All right, so I attempted to look this up and to be completely honest with you, I couldn't find it. I, I don't know exactly what this is other than what it says by the trademark, which is CA Mod M4. Couldn't find it on the site. So if somebody actually does know what this is, feel free to post it in the comments. So I went ahead and put a battery in here. So we've got a 9.6 NEMA battery and uh, it sounds pretty snappy. got a good uh, response the triggers like super super responsive like barely have to pull it at all and then full auto so yeah it's gonna be uh gonna be some fun i went ahead and loaded up the mid cap mag don't really have anything to shoot at but i'm just going to uh see some snap here it's not bad at all i mean yeah, it's a polymer gun, but I'm not mad about that. I've been toting around a uh, M14 Combat Master EBR that is full metal, and it's about nine pounds. And uh, this is a welcome weight to be toting on a full day outdoors. Uh, so we'll, of course, throw some optics on here and uh, take it out for a test run the next weekend we can. But... Uh, let me turn this back around. Make sure it's not loaded. 
So, let's put the unloaded magazine in here. So that is it, my friends. I will uh, zoom in here to the, the trades. See if uh, anybody else has better luck looking this up to me. Um, I'm fairly certain I at least, knowing that it's ASGI, I've at least got my value out of this box, but I am going to try to confirm that and we'll let you know. But uh, thanks for joining. Hope to see you next time. We'll do some more unboxings and we'll have some miscellaneous videos posted very soon. Uh, this weekend, I am going to Balahack for the Z event. So if anybody's going out there this weekend, uh, hit me up if you see me there and uh, we'll hang out. All right, later. <laughs>